Hey, I saw this uh, this post, 2 million users but no money in the bank. Thought looked interesting. Um, exorcism.org, it's a funny domain. Um, uh, but let's take a look. Um, and But before I begin, I'm Breck, if you don't know me. Follow me on Twitter, and the reason I say this is because I, I've been a Hacker News user since the beginning. Unfortunately, I'm censored quite a lot in Hacker News. So, like for example, here's a great post I just I just made a show of Hacker News, and it's been flagged. So, so follow me. Unfortunately, the Hacker News DNG is uh, likes to censor me, and um, so I just want to start with that. Please follow me and support my stuff. I don't ask for your upvotes, but I ask that people I have the opportunity to be downvoted because because I think it's not not right to censor people. Anyway, let's dive into this. Two million users, but no money in the bank. Um, I think I've seen the site before. It's looks familiar. Get really good at programming. Develop fluency in 73 programming languages. Oh, interesting. Do we have this on PLDB at all? Exorcism. Exorcism. I don't know where we would have it. Um, Exorcism. We don't. Oh, okay. Well, let's see what languages you've got. Do we have a link? Um, with their unique blend of learning, practice, mentoring, exercise is fun, effective, and 100% free forever. Love that. Sign up for free. Explore languages. Okay. So what is your... Okay. Bash. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and let's make a link on PLDB. Um... What would be a what would be a uh, similar thing? Maybe Project Euler, Euler, Project Euler. Okay, um, that would be one. But maybe a web repo. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, so we want we'll call this Exorcism par Mr. Parser. Um, oops, Parser. Is you all to learn this language on exorcism. Okay, so example. Okay. All right. And now let's go through and let's just add a couple. Um, this is a uh, this is a pretty good one. I think we'll put it in. We'll make this a uh, uh, you know what? We'll just start it out at two point one um, in terms of priority. So let's let's add a couple here. Now, can we download these as CSVs? No, JSON. No. Um. Hmm. Where is a list? Okay, here we go. Here's a list. Okay. Um, and so let's do to lowercase, convert case, lowercase. I don't know if we have eighth, but we'll see. C sharp, C plus plus. F sharp, objective C, I think, I, what do we have for objective C? I think we do, oh, we do, okay, we do spell it like that, PLS, PLSQL, what do we do for that one? PLSQL, oh, okay, PLSQL, um, standard MO, probably like that. Um, X86 assembly. What do we do with X86? ISA, X86 assembly, okay. Straightforward. 64 assembly, we do. X86, 64 ISA, okay. Ah, let's just stick it, assembly. 
just want to make sure we get match as many correctly as we can. Vim script. We do do dash. Okay, so um, unison. Yeah. Lisp flavored Erlang. What, do we have that one? Lisp Erlang. Lisp flavored Erlang. L S P L S P L F E. L F E. Lisp flavored Erlang. L F E. Okay, Emacs Lisp, I'm sure we have that. We do that, yeah, Emacs Lisp. Delphi Pascal. Uh, is this different than Delphi Pascal? Yes. All right, we're just gonna get rid of this one for now. Common Lisp. What do we do? Oh, we do do a dash, man. We have a lot of similarities in our, our naming. Batch file, just call it batch. Eighth, what is eighth? Oh, we have eighth. Hmm. Okay. Mips. Mips. Yep. Okay, so now this is going to be ID and then. Exorcism appears. Turn and uh, exorcism. links to exorcism on PLDB.
Lovely. Push it. There you go. 69 new links, 68 new links for you, something like that, 67. So I missed a couple. First issue. Okay. Where are we here? What else do we miss? F sharp, Cairo. We, don't, we definitely have reason. Just call it reason. Okay. No match for standard ammo. Okay, what do I call this one? Oops. No match for web assembly. What do we call that? Wasm? Probably call it Wasm. Okay. Cool. Okay. Four more links. So we added a bunch of links for you, because this looks great. Um, making it easier to learn. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Too many users, but no money in the bank. We hit the huge amount of two million users. Okay. And in a few hours, we also had 45 million exercise submissions. So 2 million users, that's 20 exercises per user. Pretty good. A day later, I paid the final payroll for me, Eric, and Aaron. Our bank account reduced at the point we can't afford to pay another. Okay. I think this opens this up. It shows the story pretty well. 1,200 people per day sign up. So zero paying users, I guess. Tens of thousands solve exercises each day. Tens of thousands of actives. We don't have enough money to continue to work on the platform and try to exchange that. So we hundreds of funders and companies, but actually isn't the right fit for their support. It doesn't fit a niche that makes sense for them. By serving people everywhere, it seems we don't serve narrow enough to have more aligned with narrow missions. Advertising the site, ugh. Yeah. Lost faith in the nonprofit business model we're doing it out. That's correct. Part of the hardest thing about the situation is that we can no longer afford to pay Eric, so he's leaving his employee at the end of the week. Eric has an absolute critical part. Wonderful colleague. I must want to say Craig would be far from right. Um, X I heard It's fine, I, I'm, the background's blurred, it's totally fine. The one key thing, every PR in a live, I should be merged. Wait, every PR in a live 
she get a review? Okay. Uh, why not just commit them and undo if it's bad? Seems this seems like this is a unnecessary bottleneck. It seems much easier to just let people push and and there are very few bad actors in the world and you can just find out who they are in real life. Boom! Solve that problem. <laughs> right now we've got 800, about, we got 7,500 in monthly donations. That's pretty good. Server costs pretty much exactly. What the fuck? 7,500 in server costs? Why don't you go local first? Why are you letting this money go? You should redesign this thing. Oh my god, you gotta redesign this thing to be 100% client side. PLDB, 100% client side. There's no server cost. Our server cost is zero. It's so much better. Why would people donate to make your cloud providers rich? That's no. I wanna donate to your salaries. Two weeks off, great. All right, so my takeaways. Server cost should be zero. This should be local first, client, entirely client side side. Maybe. So, 